Hello and welcome to another Division video. In this video I will do a second part, how you can finish a legendary mission with a sniper build. And yeah, I did already the one on Napalm production site and I got some positive feedback about this and I decided to do another one as well. And the other one is the one above here, the Times Square Legendary, Times Square Power Relay Legendary. So let's get right into this mission and I will show you how my ways to do this mission with a sniper build. If you're interested in the build, I got some requests on the Napalm run and I did a build video there as well. So you can just check it out. I will leave the link at the end of this video. And yeah, of course, there's some options you do have to finish it. I will discuss this as well. And I'll show you one way to do it and demonstrate or discuss the other ones. So first of all, I use exactly the same build as in the video. Just one change I did for this one. Uh, as you probably know, if you saw it, I was using the big alley as a secondary. And just because the reload time is really really long and I have to use the secondary more often on this one I like or prefer to have an assault rifle it doesn't matter that much which one you use uh, just use the one you like to do uh, you have and the first thing try to get a sniper here you can stay a little bit down here and try to get some red bars as well Watch your health, of course. Watch the grenades, of course. This is one option, or the other option you have. Can be fast, can be slower. It's always a bit different. This just to go back up. It's the easier option as well up here. Wait until the guys rush you down there and kill them from above. You can just try out what works better for you, but now I grab aggro ready behind the so they don't drop the hard, and now they come. And the first round should be pretty easy, so they are just red bars, and as soon as you kill four of them, it should be the fourth guy I guess, then you have to be really careful because when the shotgunners are spawned, yes now, and then just back down. So you can, as you saw, I throw a tear gas grenade just to interrupt them a little bit, that they don't rush too fast, and they just run along this building behind this wall, and usually, yeah, there he is. No, nope. I thought I have to grab aggro again. But usually, <laughs> they spot you and they rush you back here, so shoot a little bit in the air, that he knows where to run. And yeah, you can kill them pretty easy from back here, and I would say from the first round, this is almost the hardest part. <coughs> I guess there is one more, four of them I got already. So we have to be a little bit careful, there's one red bar and I guess one or two shot is still alive. So let's see if we can spot around here, nope, not here. One guy standing there, he's looking for me, yep, got you buddy and there is a red bar as well and a sniper. And still a shotty, yeah, two shotties. That was my mistake. You make everything much more complicated if you don't land your shots. As usual, and yeah, still the sniper. Again. And the red spot on. The other, no, the other one spawned already. So the third wave is here and the third wave some grenadiers, the 
the, 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 the wow looks looks amazing at uh, the elite squat leader and he hits really hard so the golden boy you have to be really careful about him the rest should be not that hard we try to bring them here as fast as possible there he is back up again and you can use the same strategy so don't usually rush don't that hard like the others watch your left side as well sometimes they come up the stairs so as usual with this nice build of that build you have to be careful you have to watch your surroundings watch your health use grenades to stop them from rushing it didn't work and as soon as it's coming up then just back up again you have different options you can go to the same spot as before always watch the minimap if they are still behind you now it's not red anymore so stop quickly you know yeah they're up here so i usually use the same strategy here as before you make it much more complicated if you don't land the shot so please do it better than me Two guys down there, two guys up here, it's pretty nice. Sometimes you have to aim that they see you and they shoot again. Grenade. Come on buddy. guys using already Predmark. I like to get the grenades first because the grenade hits really hard and then we can push a little bit with the only guy up here. check if you can shoot out of cover here a trick you can do is just use your box not to heal you but to make him move and as you see he always destroys try to destroy the box so it's a little trap you can use as well are there some red bars there are you sometimes some annoying NPCs they don't belong to the mission if I would spot one of them then I just try to kill him uh, there are still some purples down here there is still a uh, agent down here they're all in front there it seems like sometimes they're standing back here Yeah, they are not that clever. What the hello, hello, hello. So same procedure again. Make the move. Buddy, don't run away. I'm a good boy. I can 
shooting the S4 too. But it's really accurate. Did you see that? Always the same spot. Good aiming skills, better than mine. Bravo, bravo! Come on, now you can come down there. Please, here, here's your spot. Be a good boy. Just quickly let them spot you. Oh, come on, not again. Then check where they want to go. If they rush you, they retard. One is coming, so let's back up again. Of course, use a medi if you have to. He was a little bit too close, that's why I don't run away again in the same, on the same spot. Squad leader down there, that's nice. He's usually a bit more shy than his purple friends. This guy rushes sometimes really hard, so just be... Played a little bit safer than usually. Okay, they don't rush so far. Try to grab aggro, it doesn't work. Go a bit closer. Don't be shy. So, first of them. Yes, you are decent, my friend. <laughs> Stand up of the car. So the second guy, the last one, is still down there. That's pretty nice. As I said, he's sometimes a bit shy. He hits really hard, but he don't rush that hard. So you can go down here. Try to land some headshots. And already done. So the next part probably you know what happens, uh, let's use this one. The shield heavy spawning, you don't have to go back that far, but just until he spawns. Make him spawn, use a grenade to interrupt him a little bit. And then you can try to land a couple shots. Go behind this wall again. Usually I prefer to aim through my scope. You have to try out for yourself what works better. For me especially when it's a moving target. Then this is my preferred version. I think one more shot and then we go already up there. Yes. So for the next part you have different options as well. I'll explain you one now, I'll show you one and I'll explain you one after this. So one thing you can do is just run up here, grab aggro, go down again and kill them from here. It can be dangerous because if they rush you really hard you have to jump over the thing here and sometimes yeah, yeah like now you can get stuck. So and you have to back up all over again. It works too. But yeah, it's not my preferred version. Now I'm a little bit late for the one I'll demonstrate you because they don't spot you if you do this right at the beginning. That was the sniper. And if you go back here, as you see now, there are some red bars. And they are here. So if you go on this spot, I really recommend to kill this guy here first. Although they are just red bars, 
Uh, they can hit and they can kill you. So, I'm a little bit late now and they rush a little bit hard already, as you see. <laughs> so we back up a little bit more. If you go right at the beginning of this spot, then they don't see you and you have a lot more time. And you can kill at least one or two of them when they are not that close. But we try our best now, just to show you one more spot. Okay, But although it was not like I planned to do it, it works pretty well as you see, just be careful, back up if you have to. And for the next round, this is the last guy I guess. Next round there are two shotgunners, they will rush you. And there's some purple grenadiers. So my preferred spot is to stand here. Usually you can kill one of them on this side and the other one of this side or all the way around. One of them. Oh, he moves a bit fast again. You just get a heal. You can use the grenade as well. This was the wrong one. You hit me. Oh fuck, and I second myself. Of course, use the right grenade, not the wrong one, the stupid one like I did. Watch the grenadiers if they plan to shoot a grenade. One in the back, okay, and go in the back. You will always be the guy that is the farthest away. Ah, oh, that was too late. And I don't like to be on the building if I play solo. Just because of these guys here. And you have to handle the snipers as well at the same time. And that's a huge advantage if you go in the back here. You just you can concentrate on these guys, this is one advantage. And the other one is you have more uh, no there are three advantages. You can handle this guy here first. What the hell? Uh, sorry. Concentrating and talking at the same time and not multitasking can be difficult. And you can focus this guy is here. You have more space to react, to go in cover or whatever to move until compared to you're up there and you don't have to handle the snipers at the same time. So the third wave should be easier just red bars again don't say something too early my friend <laughs> and if they don't move like usually you have to move Go to another position. That's the thing I wanted to achieve, that he moves his position as well. So, already done. <clears throat> so as you see, this is one part, you can do it, the other one is just down in the stairs. As you probably know, there are two snipers but they don't spot you if you're in the back. Here's one. And the other one on this building there. Come on. 
that was not really good, my friend, the shots you missed. And if you stay, if you make it this way, then you don't have to handle that many spawns. And the other spot I'll show you after I clear out the next two waves. And you will see the rest of the gameplay anyway. So that's why I didn't went on this spot before. Because you anyway will see it. I'm there for the, almost the rest of the mission. So these guys are pretty easy. You can one shot them, just red bars. Then the next part. <coughs> For all of you that saw already my guide about doing this legendary skill build, they know this little magic trick and you can do the same with your sniper build. So just throw a tear gas here, you spawn inside the truck, run as fast as you can back here, try to land your shot, and you should be able to get at least a healer, that's the most important thing, and sometimes you can get a mechanic as well, but be careful. As you saw, the, it was not the best try I ever did. You saw the, the shield heavy is shooting the spawn in the back, so be careful about him. Then you have different options. You can kill, try to kill them from back here. It can be a little bit annoying when they place their turrets down there, all of them together. And if you don't land your shots, of course too. Really and it's annoying as well that the turrets are still alive, although you killed the guy that placed the turret. As long as there's some mechanics alive, the turret will be up. So it can be that you have to handle three turrets, just one mechanic is alive. This is really annoying. Would you 60 talent too for tactician? That your skills that they're deployed, they're still up although you're dead as long as the teammate is alive. So. This is one option, as I said. I just wanted to kill at least one guy more. And just take your time, there's no time limit. So. Yes. <coughs> you see, two turrets are still up. The third one I destroyed already. You can kill this guy from up here. Best thing to do with snap aim. This is one option. You can go just in the back. Aim through your scope. Go so far in the front until you see his head. And try to get him <laughs> like this. It can be difficult with a moving target. At least for me, probably you are better with aiming. So, but my preferred version is go back here. And this is the spot you can go right at the beginning. So if you come up the stairs after the first wave, the first three waves, just go up. You have to be careful about the sniper on this platform. He can sometimes spot you, but uh, just use your heels and run in the back and run up here on this scaffolding. And you can kill all the waves from up there. It's the most safe place for clearing out this first part, in my opinion. Um, but as I said, you have to handle one or two waves more. And the other, the way I did now, it's just a little bit faster. But if you do it for the first time, I would really recommend you just go up on this spot. And let's try to grab aggro on this shield heavy here, that he comes more in the back. It's easier to kill, he's easier to kill. As you already know, if you don't see the hit and can hit the head, just try to focus his weapon and his arm. Don't forget to watch your health, use heals. You. 
Let's kill him. So if you need med kits, as you know, every healer in Legendary drops a med kit, so one should be here. Yeah. And the second one is here. In the backpack. I grabbed it already on the previous run. So just grab the box, the fuse and walk. behind this spot here. If you will do it more safe, just go back, then two shotgunners will rush you and more purp uh, purple red bars. So just wait in the back for the shot, there he come. You can use whatever you like, of course, I'll uh, usually kill them with my secondary. suppress them a bit better than with the sniper rifle then this is really a really nice spot and as I said you can clear out all the first waves from up here it works pretty well a little bit slower usually but it's safer and always focus the guy that is way in the back that nobody flanks you I guess one should be right down here. Or is he up on the... What? Did I have the mangoes on my eyes? Oh, there he is. This was a headshot in my opinion, but doesn't matter. And it could be that this is the last or the previous last guy. If they move, then just move as well. One guy left. So I think we can push him a little bit at least. We still have overdose, we have the healing box, we have everything we need. This should be the first wave, then the second wave, when you carry the fuse, then there is a shield heavy, there are some purples, uh, some purple LMGs and some more red bars. The red LMG is exactly the same, just uh, walk in the front here, behind this uh, sign, <coughs> you can let it down now as well here. But I go a little bit more in the front, use the heal, go back again to the same spot. You can stop the first time here to see if they still follow. If they do, yeah. As soon as you see the red sign over their head, you can try to shoot them a little bit from back here. Always watch your right side. They flank you, rush you pretty fast most of the time. So they're a bit too close. Try a backup even more. You can already go on the scaffolding. They sometimes not move that fast, so that's why I usually spend first, the first time down here. But yeah, I think this time they are pretty nice. They rush a bit too hard. Nope, missed the stairs. <laughs> missed the stairs again. Oh, stupid me. So now it could be that some of them rush up here. 
that was a little bit not that good. You see one guy standing down there. We just wait, make a grenade ready if he tries to rush. One is right down there. He's not look like he's almost down. So make a move. Doesn't seem like they rush up here. So yeah, go to the same position again. Kill them as fast as you want. Or take your time. Next one's coming. Shield heavy stair. Next one. Come on, buddies. I uh, want to here. I think we killed one LMG, so there should be one LMG more. He's not rushing, so let's grab aggro. You can use your secondary to show him where you are. Yeah, there he is. So let's go back again. Let's see where he's going. If it comes closer, I will go up again. Otherwise, I try to land a couple shots here. So that's too dangerous for my opinion. I try to make him come around there. It can be, of course, that he comes up here as well. You have a. Uh, exit here. <laughs> you don't have sa safety safety belts, but you have an exit there. So if you rush up here, you can just jump down. He won't move. So let's throw a grenade there. Buddy, don't be annoying, please. What? Ah, oh, there he is. Oh. Then you can try to shoot back at this shoot secondary. And going this way works as well. He was confused. Grenade shot where he is. Help me, I'm scared. No. <laughs> just kidding. Yeah, but you see it's always a little bit different. Just uh, be careful. Don't run down the stairs, just go slowly. And as I said, there should be one shield heavy. Uh, one, 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 one purple LMG more. Yeah, let's take the fuse that we don't have to walk that far away in the back again. He didn't spot me so far. Don't go too far ahead because the next spawn depends how far you walk. Try to get his backpack as well. So it can be that the next round already spawned. I'm not sure how far it has spawned. No. So grab some. Mm, not medicine. <laughs> grab some ammo first. Change to the secondary. Grab the fuse again. Then there is an agent and some. Um, mm, 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 mm. Shot this as well on this round. Go in front of this truck, jump on the left side, they spawn now, and run back. Run like there is no tomorrow. Go to the same spot as well. 
I would first stop here to see if it's still rushing. Yeah, you see the red sign over the head. Trying to try to shoot a stick here. You have to be fast. Sometimes it seems like he has short full stickies, like we will have in 1.8. It's a pretty nice build for every tech fish. Tech fish. <laughs> Tactician build user, that's the word I'm looking at. Uh, because you can detonate your stickies immediately, you don't have to delay anymore. That's really nice. So let's go back again. You need something, what do you need, my cool down? I watch you here in your. This is so great. So, it depends how far they rush you. Uh, you have to be careful about the stick kiss, so just move slowly. With one eye you have to watch all the time the agent. Okay, he's close enough I guess. Then we go again on the scaffolding. It's not the safest place on earth, but one of the better ones for these missions in my opinion. Take care, always the guy on the right side. Of course I would like to get the agent first. I didn't saw a sticky because it could be of course because I was scoped in but I didn't see anything over his head. Yeah, this can happen. So we have to be careful. Another seeker mine. Honestly, usually it's very, very seldom <coughs> that he's able or he shoots stickies up here. We have to be careful and just wait for the heal before we try to do too many things. It can be that he comes up too. Then the same strategy, just make a grenade ready. Same here, as more shots as you miss, the harder it will be even, but just do it better than me and you should be fine. But here the same, just take your time, if you don't have a healing resource, just wait until you get it back, before you rush or move too fast and just watch the head of this guy, that you can see when he's planning to shoot a sticky... C commands are not that much of a problem usually. You just have to react when you get staggered when as soon as they hit you. But otherwise it should be doable. So I guess there are some yeah red bars. It's a nice placement. You can try to get the box from here. They rush usually pretty what? We are controlling. So let's do the same. C 
safer way go back to the same position again bring them back here and the advantage is they don't get healed from the box if they move to you and you can kill them from back here if you scope them as you saw be careful they can move really really fast as you probably know already grab the grenade bring them on this spot here as soon as they are here you can change your position you can shoot them from here test out what works for you the best just one guy left I guess Mr. Healer what? <laughs> I heal the healer this, this was not intended as you probably know Yeah, if this mission is too boring, then just start to heal the healer instead of yourself and make it a little bit more difficult for you. So then the next spawn. Uh, we have to plug in the fuse now. After you plug in the fuse, uh, there is another spawn. There are two shotgunners and four snipers. I guess two shotgunners, yeah. But same strategy, just put it in run back again <clears throat> and start killing them from the back so, whoop. <clears throat> la 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 make some rolls dance a little bit around morning hostiles detected as you see, you should have enough time to back up. I usually go on this spot. One guy spotted me already. I don't know if it's the sniper or the... One is the sniper. Can you shoot the light? What? I don't know why I don't miss the head. I shoot the head. Kill these snipers first. <clears throat> Go a little bit in the front. Be careful. One sniper spotted me already. But there are some more guys here. Purple. Nobody else spotted me so far. So I can try to land a couple shots to the snipers probably kill one of them watch your surroundings could be that the others are soon here This would be a really nice four piece bonus for Hunter's face. To force the blind death, a uh, blind status on the NPCs if you aim at them. Or shoot a bullet. Now you see a purple guy, I think he spotted me. <coughs> so always be careful. But of course, if you can, then try to give, get rid of the snipers on the top. So 
there's one guy, there's two guys. Yeah, they rush now, so go back. Now the shots are coming. You can try to kill them with a grenade or with a AR or with a sniper. Whatever you like. If you're really good in sniping, you can finish them off with just one headshot. But I usually prefer because I don't land every shot. Then it can be sometimes more dangerous for me to try to kill them with a sniper. And if you are not confident enough to do this like the way I did, you have two options. You can run on this scaffolding. They rush you usually not up there and you can kill them from above or you can go up here but here they rush you sometimes so just go in cover in the back where I was as I was fighting the agent and you should be fine I guess there is one more purple somewhere and the sniper is still there somewhere so to see where they are I just grab aggro try to grab aggro I didn't kill the sniper, didn't I? Is there no purple alive? There's the sniper. And we gained health all already again. No. Warning. Hostiles okay. detected. That was not the best thing to kill him from up close. As you saw, they spawned pretty close. I go to the same spot as see some guy rushed me pretty hard. And go back here again. Yeah, I was not sure, I thought there is one purple more alive. That's why I went that close. But if you have the chance, then always try to kill the sniper from a further distance with your sniper. Especially for this round here. It's already the bosses. It's much easier. Fuck, it's annoying. And of course you can stand as well on this path holding here, but the annoying thing is that usually the sniper sees you and you can hit really hard. That's why I like to stand on the spot here. Another shot too. So to show you, just to show you how you can kill the shotty on this scaffolding, I go up here. Usually he rushes a little bit more, and I think we are fine for the moment. For oh no 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 sorry 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 I was wrong. Yeah of course there is another round with two agents and the two healers. I almost forgot this one before you we are at the boss part. So then the purple guys you can kill pretty easy from up here, that's true. But if the if the and I'm 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 really confused at the moment that the shot is doesn't doesn't uh, rush more. They usually rush much more. <coughs> uh, no, the two agents if they would spot me here, I wouldn't stand on this spot. Because yeah, they shoot that many stickies and it can it's just too dangerous. So if the, the, the agent spot you, just go on this scaffolding. But just for the purple ones on this round, you can go up here and it's, it's the better spot. And these guys are really shy. Yeah, now you see, 
the result sign from the agent. Blind fire and he hits like Of course you could use the healing box as a trap again that he goes out of cover and he tries to destroy it but because I was not full on health as you see he's shooting at it now and again in flight blind fire mode So the next thing he will try is to grab aggro and if possible they don't go too far ahead I would like to fight just one of them or two of them at a time. He should stand somewhere in the back there, there he is. If you hit a shot then just go back. He got help from the box. Come on, move, 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 move. If you have time and they are still moving, then always reload both of your guns. That you are prepared. And as I said, don't go on the scaffolding I was before, it's too dangerous. Try to lure him back here. Seems like he's moving now, so... A little bit more. Good boy. Come here. Come here, cookie. Cookie there. Yes. The healer is in the back as well. <coughs> Sticky. You should not get hit as you saw it's up here. So if you're in the back you should be fine. That's why this spot is much better. Secret mine. That's exactly the way I plan to do it. To not handle both of them together. There are two healers and two agents. But if you don't go too far ahead, then usually you can kill these two guys first. Go back again. Grab aggro on the next two and kill the other two guys. And I wouldn't go into the shop, I usually go with my tech build because if you don't can damage them all at the same time or have something crowd control uh, like a turret or whatever, then they rush you really really hard in the store. I tried it out sometimes, I died multiple times so. You can trust me, it's not the best spot for doing it with a sniper build. You have to be more careful. So then before we go to the bosses, grab aggro of the next two guys back here. It's a healer and an agent as well. Just go that far that you can see them. Now you can see them. Try to land a shot. Go back again. And let them follow you. Yeah, you see that they're still visible on your screen. Place down the healing box. And same strategy as before. Lure them back here.
first if he is on the oh no he rests no more so go back more if he would stay up there you can try to land a couple shots but yeah just you know are not right or the right group. just be careful So, what are you doing there, my friend? And same strategy, go up here, watch the minimap, watch your surroundings, use your heals before you start the fight. you are I don't what I don't do damage yeah I hit you in the head yeah, buddy. what the hell I hit you all the time in the head and I didn't do any damage yeah 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 anyway be calm just try it until it works and where's the agent there is the agent Come friendly, my friend. Come, come, come. I'm waiting for you. Here is the party. Some most of the time they move, although you don't hit them with the grenade. I don't see that much, but I just give the bullet a chance to hit the target as I already almost say that's not nice of you my friend I don't like when you stand up there I really don't so when you see he is red like now then you will hit him with the grenade and again I don't like when you are up there so please move, please move, uh, fire, it's kinda annoying, move more, come on, If you go more in the back, sometimes it works, not all the time, but then you have just one option, to bring him down again. It's pretty hard to kill if somebody's up there, so just go down well, and you see he's down too. Stick here again. Yes, good B now, he's down there. Let's see what he plans or tries to do. I'm not sure if I can get him. Could be that he's coming up now. We do have the flame grenade ready. Oh, come on. I don't care what you do, but please move. And don't stand down here like... Be careful if you go down. Yeah. Uh, he's Finally, that's a good boy. You get a cookie after I killed you. Oh, Kara, SMG. M44, assault rifle. Oh come on guy, you are annoying today.
but in the end, just take your time. Ah, it's not again. I didn't see it. Or I saw it, but too late. Stick it. If you can hit him before he shoots, then you are fine as well, as you saw. Yes, finally. So, then the boss card. There would be an automatic kit from the healer if I would need one. But not at the moment. So be careful. I think there are two shotties as well. On this part. Grab aggro again. There they are. Go back again. Same strategy. Rinse and repeat. That good to aim. Always check what kind of emphasis you have to handle. Careful when you go in front here. The sniper is in the back, I guess. Yeah. No, no, it's Wilbur. So it doesn't make any sense to shoot him. As you know, you can just kill him with a turret or with a shooting his weak point on the back. Ah, uh, please, can I land a shot sometimes? What is going on? I miss every shot. But I would just recommend, really, recommend just take your time here. Try to kill one purple after each other before you handle the bosses. <laughs> How can you miss so many bullets? That's the question right now. Careful when you push too far, always check if there are more NPCs and what kind of NPCs. Wilbur is not going back to you, so you don't have to care about that much about Wilbur at the moment. It's just a problem because the auto aim always goes... can go straight to him. Add more, as you saw, so back up again. Could be the shot this. Let's quickly check the situation first. You can see what now right him in. Point. 
Yeah. Okay, we have a grenadier, we have two riflemen. It's not that much of a problem right now. The sniper is not in view distance. As you see now, straight on Wilbur doesn't make any sense. But try to kill one of the other. Always watch your surroundings. Okay, now as you see, more are coming. Just be careful, go in the back, make. Quickly check what kind of emphasis you have to handle. As you see, I don't know every NPC which spawns without a doubt, so it doesn't look like there is some shots now. If so, yeah, rifleman, rifleman, and grenadier. So we can just go back here. And try to get them first. As you see, it's pretty funny. They don't move back that far in this part. That far in the back. So you have to push a little bit more. And I really like to be on a higher spot. Especially during cover, like this here. Usually it's a little bit easier to hit them. I don't think we have enough time to go to supply drop as well after this. Sniper I guess is behind this police car somewhere, but I'm pretty it's pretty nice that he is not here at the moment because he can hit really really hard. But first of all I'll try to get rid of this purple guy here. Then I will focus Alfaro, the Italian sniper. Not the Italian stallion, the Italian sniper. And in the end, finally down with Dutch and Rover. Come on, be not that annoying, my friend. Okay. And as you see, now Wilbur is moving and Alfaro. This spot here, you are fine. The Wilbur is not pushing that far in the back and the others too so you can stand on this spot as well yes then we have to handle Alfaro one shot more and he's down yeah of course you what 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 how he can reach and help there is no healer What's the talent for a crit hit that crit hit that you get health back? Probably has this one on the gun. That was funny. Never saw this before. Yes, we get, we got it. So now just uh, Mr. Bilbur left. The first thing we will try is to go a little bit closer to him. No, don't call the time cover. Make a grenade ready. 
The best thing if you have, of course, is the shock grenade. But now it's too far away. Grab this here too. Go a bit closer. Oh, buddy. And as you see, with my reckless chest, he hits really hard. So I have to be careful. Can you please stand still somewhere? Yeah, it's a little bit far away to stand still, but uh, let's try. Let's try my good side. Shocking. And. Shoot the backpack as much as you can. 15 hits. I don't know how many hits you need <laughs> to kill him. And the same procedure again. It was almost a little bit too far away so I couldn't land that many shots I would like to land. Usually you need two grenades and you can kill him. But I'm not 100% sure if I... Good luck, man. Good boy. Yes, my friend, you are great. So, and if you would miss a shot with a grenade or whatever, then you can run around, see if somebody dropped a shock grenade. This is, this is one point. No, not yet. You can change to shock turret, but the duration is really, really short, so I wouldn't recommend it. I would just recommend to use the, uh, the, 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 the flashbang sticky, not the BFB, flashbang. And you can interrupt him for about 3-4 seconds, and you have time to shoot him meanwhile. So this is the next, the next thing you could do if you ran out or don't have any shock grenades more. But yes, this was the... Where's a nice spot to end this? Yeah, this one I like. This corner. So this is the way I do finish this. Let's go on the truck. I do finish this uh, legendary mission with using a sniper build. As you saw, works pretty well so far. Which is the nicer spot? Yeah, it doesn't matter. This is the preferred way I do it. There are many different ways how you can do it. I hope you could use some of the tips I shared with you and I wish you good luck for your next runs. You are great. Thanks a lot for watching and see you in the next one. Bye bye.